I fear you know what time it is. I fear you know what time it is. Happy Renaissance Day. My hair's looking gray. I'm so bloody excited. I can't even express it to y'all. My train's in about an hour. I'm gonna eat something, make sure I have everything, and then we're gonna go. My crew is already there. They got there last night. Everything seems great. We're gonna get some Philly cheesesteaks, walk around, and then start getting ready at the ass crack, like early, early. So we can get our picks, we can go get merch, we can walk around, just really embrace the vibes. My little train fit is a little silly. I have to go, like tomorrow morning, our train is at like 6.45 because we're all going straight to work. And depending on when we get in, I don't know if I'll have time to like drop my bags off back at home and then head into Brooklyn. So it might just be, you know, back straight into BK. And of course I have dinner with friends after work, so I'm gonna have to like bring my little duffel. But whatever, you do what you gotta do. This is my comfy train outfit. I'm bringing a sweatshirt. I'm gonna take this off when I head over to Moynihan, but I'd like to have a sweatshirt on the train and just in general, little cozies. But I'm, I fear we're team no sleep tonight. Like I don't think we're gonna sleep that much at all. Right now I was just charging you guys the battery and then I'm charging my digital camera battery. I just deleted all media off that memory card. I deleted all the footage off of this before I'm filming this. So it's all fresh, we're fully charged. I bought a new portable charger for my phone. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna vlog today as best I can tonight. But yeah, that's the deal. This is my, whoa, train fit. New little hoodie. I've been wearing all the stuff that I bought from ARF, like back to back. Olympic USA hoodie. Cut right here, kind of a cute vibe. And then sue me. I know I'm wearing navy and black together. I don't care. You guys know I stay wearing my little skirts over le legging vibe. It's like the comfiest travel situation. I can just move and not have to worry if my pants are falling down or my underwear's out, whatever. We're comfy cozy. I have under the sweatshirt just a plain black tank top from Bootsy. Um, and then, okay, right now I have my slippers on, but I think I'll just wear my little Nike velcro -y slip on, guys. Also, she's glowing, kind of bridges on sweat, but it's not, it's... Rode sent me some skincare and I'm kind of obsessed. It's like the milk. You know what? Let's go find it. I'll show you what I have on the face. I also just have some Benetint on my lips, of course. Some of the House Labs um, lip oil in primary, which I'm really liking us lately. It's like quite hot pink, but I'm just kind of into it. I don't know why. Um, okay, the Rose, like the glazing milk facial essence something something. It's really good. It locks like everything and it just feels so good on my skin. And then over that, oh no, I packed it in my toilet treat bag. The sunscreen that I use is this oil situation. I'll put it right here and I'll link it, but it really just, it sure makes her glow. I'll tell you that much. But I wanted like a bare face going into it and hair, I'm just gonna do all of that, so there. So that's the plan. Let's rock, I'm so excited. Also, I'm realizing I say let's rock like so much while editing videos and I feel like that's such like a, like a white dad thing to do. Let's rock, kids. Maybe that's just something I've always said and I just haven't realized it. Here we are. And then we're gonna go. So I'll talk to you guys in a few. Got me a matcha lamb. Oh, crazy silly white man. Last you me. Oh, wow. I was like, how's your smoothie? And I like was like looking around. I was like, who's he talking to? And he like looked right at me and I was like, oh, like, it's good. I didn't even want to correct him. Thank you, it's me. What's in it? I'm so healthy, but order this movie. He was like, I was naughty and got a bagel this morning. And I was like, oh, bagels are classic, like, delish. Like, breakfast doesn't count, like, yum. And he was like, yeah, I'm like loving your smoothie. Like I love the decorations, like inspo, like you're so healthy. And I was like, sir, this is a matcha lemonade. I basically like, wait. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying to be nice, but I was like, why are you talking? It was like so weird. He looked like he was like with the kids, he had his tickets printed out. So I was like, where is your family? Go talk to them about their smoothies. So that's a cha cha matcha moment. She's all right. Just the job. But yeah, just gonna listen to Renaissance, obviously, and sit here and marinate. 
save some TikTok sounds that I want to recreate. And do a little work, and then we'll be there. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi team. Airbnb hall. I'm at <laughs> tour. This is it opens up to the unit, which is crazy. That's some gossip girl shit. What's going on? So we put in our little code, stopped on our floor, and then this is what we see. I obsessed. Little closet. We have a bathroom. I think one of the bedrooms. <laughs> Doing Airbnb tour. Mine and Lizzie's room. Takes you there. Then we have Trish and Brandon's room. The lighting is so good in here, like makeup, hair, outlets, beautiful shower, yeah. kitchen. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Vitor! <Yay>! Naya! <laughs> okay, we have this, another room. She's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna start on my makeup. We're starting at, it's two. Primer, Miss Isla, face base primer. She's gorge. She works every time. I already have sunscreen on. Okay, girls, don't worry about me. Hi. 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 I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna <laughs> turn the vlog off. I need this shit to last, okay? My concealer is like a little too light for my face, but I'm not necessarily tan enough to wear my darker concealer. So we're just gonna deal with it and just bronze the face so it matches. Cause I don't wanna be, you know, James Charles in this bitch. What was that shit called? Backflash Mary or something? How many times I gotta say? Once I get the outfit on, we'll be better. Okay, the Etsy earrings did come, and these are like my favorite. They're both chrome and kind of gold, and I feel like they're just perfect amount of statement kooky crazy. I don't, I don't know if we still do. Hey, stay. Like, is that crazy? Okay, wait, why do I like my hair kind of like this? What do we think? I have to do my lips still. I don't know. Ooh. This is Abahua. Get into it. Into it.
5 a.m. Hey guys, got back from Philly this morning. Quickly dropped off my bag at home and then went straight to work. Feeling tired. I was like actually so delusional today at work. Like, but let me just tell you, for the love of God, if you are able to, that was the best concert of my life. Please go see her. Like, that was insane. I'm genuinely for Matt Life, even for like the Boston shows. I'll, I, damn, I'll travel again. Like, I want to see her again. Like, nosebleeds. Like, I don't know how much a nosebleeds will be, but like, even the day of the concert, like, I'm just gonna try to check and like see. Cause guys, it was so good. I've seen her twice before. This tour like genuinely changed my life. <laughs> First of all, her vocals. That woman is the greatest performer of our time and I'll die on that hill. She looks insane. Her physical, like her capability to sing and dance and do all of that is just mind blowing. Like she is just, can't be stopped. I'm, I really adore her with all my heart. She had me bawling within the first five minutes. I loved how she started the show. It was so beautiful. And like, then the Renaissance like occurred and I got all into it and it was just a party. And like, oh, uh, she played me and my girl's songs and it was just such a moment for us. And like seeing it live and seeing her right there performing it. And then of course this album Renaissance is like all I've been listening to since it came out and it's so, iconic and it's so cool what she's done with this album and um what it's meant to people and i just i fucking admire the hell out of that woman i literally i said this in the uber home but i literally like we were all so tired but i was like nobody makes me feel more like a woman and like embrace femininity more than beyonce like she makes me feel so <laughs> like so empowered so proud to be a woman like so creative just like makes me like believe in myself like i'm like whoa like she was literally i was like okay like quitting my job following my dreams let's making this let's turn this shit out like here i go like let's risk it all and make it happen but let's get it and then of course i went straight to work it was so inspiring like i need to journal the fuck out of that and just write down my thoughts because it was literally that was church like it actually was quite a religious experience for me and it was just so fucking cool i'd never seen her like with with my friends that i went to the concert with and it was just like beyonce's our girl like we listened to her throughout college like she's just like been kind of like a little thread within our friendships i just love beyonce. i just love beyonce so much i'm like i just think it's so sick that she is like around for my lifetime like i feel so i feel so lucky to like be able to see her and experience like this era we get to see an icon at work honestly like it, it sounds like i'm like joking but i'm being so serious <laughs> but when she brought out blue like me and all my friends held hands before and we said a prayer requesting if blue was here to give her the confidence to please have her perform bless philly bless the first u.s show for the love of god i need to see this mother-daughter duet i'm gonna tell my kids i'm gonna tell my kids kids about this moment Please, I just need to see them perform together. I need to see it. And she came out and it happened. And I literally lost my shit. I was screaming for her. I'm so proud of her. How is she doing that? How is she capable of doing that? Like, I couldn't even give a presentation in front of 20 people when I was like 18 in high school. Like, the things people are capable of what a boss like that was so she's just an icon living and i will be here for it for as long as i live that's my vibe that's my post-concert vibe feeling delusional feeling really tired feeling like i need to go to bed i wish i like showed the outfit more and like talked through and talked to you guys a bit more but it got real crazy real fast also the chrome lipstick guys the chrome lipstick can we like please it looked Horrible. Horrible. Looked like chap fucking lips. It was too blue. Oh my god, it was just so 
fucking funny comparing that to Aoife's. Like, I'm like, hers looks fucking sick. And I look like I just, like, not even gonna say what's in my brain. <laughs> that was not appropriate so we changed it for like a little berry glossy moment i'm not giving up on the chrome lip i do want to do it eventually so that's happening but whoa i do need to go to bed and i will talk to you guys this weekend i love you hi everybody here's my little outfit we are celebrating miss steph's 24th today I'm very excited. We are about to go to a boozy brunch. Pray for us. This bow is from a woke vintage. If you think the placement of it is awkward, just don't tell me. Thank you. I've been moving it around my head all day. So just, we're gonna deal. These earrings, I got at Chelsea Market, a little tortoiseshell vintage. This scarf, I know a vintage store sent it to me, but I'm blanking on the name. I'm the worst, I'm very sorry, but. I know a vintage store sent it to me and I love it. Wearing another piece from Ale and Maga. I'm literally obsessed with this. It's like, like a snail vagina ring. I'm obsessed. Then I'm bringing these little glasses. They look like this. They're from Zenny. They're very silly. I love them though. Capris are from Isabella. I'm literally obsessed with her. I need to clean my mirror so bad, but these are the greatest pants I've ever put on my body. They fit so impeccable. They zip up the front, but it's kind of like a sheer zipper. Like you can't really see. It's all black, so it blends in. They're the best capris. They come in fitted. I think these are the fitted, and then they come in flared as well. They're so cute. I'm going to link them. She just released them. They're so major. I love every bit of her. She sent me these and I'm so grateful. I've followed her for forever. Her Depop shop's amazing. I love everything she does and she's fabulous. I think I vlogged when I met her and went to her event with Funny Pretty Nice a while back. Adore her. And then again, Mark Fisher, little kitten heels. I don't know how I'm wearing these post Beyonce, but it's happening. And then this little black bag from Femina Co. Here's the outfit. Let's have a day. I'm leaving vlog camera behind, but I'll do some iPhone. of the night day to night vibes we're going to a rooftop in brooklyn we're going to slate and then we are going out karen do you know the name of the place uh, hair. hair check work scruncher in victoria's secret top i wear it all the time my nike shoes and orish and iris little squirt karen will you film this for me actually so quick ski Oh. Um, <laughs> that really freaked me out. Like, <laughs> here she is, and there's shorts underneath, which is literally my chubby thighs are getting suffocated by it, but <laughs> that's okay. Love you guys. This is the outfit. House labs on the lips, of course. Of course. Me. I'm like a house lab girl. And then this bag thrifted. We're feeling really girly, flirty, fun, feminine tonight, but I'm personally not, so the outfit isn't matching my life, so I'm a little <laughs> conflicted about it, and Karen's like, you look cute, but I'm like, I don't feel cute, I want to feel sexy and cool, but we don't have time Gracious. to change. Karen's gassing me though, so. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, Steph! Steph, what are you talking about? <laughs>